Utah's governor defends tax deals made to lure a National Hockey League team to town. It's brilliant um, the way that it all came together. I'm Ben Winslow on Utah's Capitol Hill. The governor says he likes what's happening with the downtown district and believes that it will be a benefit for Salt Lake City and the rest of the state. My preference is to uh, to make sure that this corridor is vibrant, that it is a place where people can gather. At his monthly news conference, Governor Spencer Cox expressed support for efforts to remodel the Delta Center and redevelop the Salt Palace. I think we're, we're all pretty much aligned. Now, obviously, there are details that will be ha have to be worked out. That We're just at the very, very front end of that. And uh, as far as Bravenel Hall goes, it's, it's an iconic building. The Salt Lake City Council will decide whether to approve a 0.5% sales tax hike Citywide to help pay for some of it. Utah Jazz and new hockey team owners Ryan and Ashley Smith are investing about three and a half billion. But the chair of the state tax commission has warned that too many of these tax deals for hockey, Major League Baseball, the Inland Port, and Point of the Mountain risk eroding Utah's tax base. As a taxpayer, I would be concerned that the government can't do the function that they are required to do without raising my taxes because they're diverting the taxes for other things. Do you share his views or do you disagree? I, I disagree. Yeah, I, I disagree. And we've been, in, in fact, very careful at, 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 as we've gone through this with the legislature and with experts uh, to make sure that we're, we're, we're not doing that. The governor also no, insists I, I Salt Lake City taxpayers aren't simply paying for a new arena. This is so so much bigger than than hockey and so much bigger than a, an arena and, and I, I i feel confident that when people see that vision uh, of what this is going to do to transform downtown that there will be uh, there, there will be broad support i think there is broad support already now the salt lake county council is scheduled to meet next week and discuss a bravanel hall you'll recall we reported earlier this week that mayor jenny wilson and the smith entertainment group are in favor of keeping it where it is but it is in need of hundreds of millions of dollars in upgrades on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.